Okay. Round two. Try it again. Back in the way, back in the way, back in the way, back in the way. Kick him! Kick him in the face! I got him! There! Eat leather, zombie! Back away, back away, back away. Go, 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 go. Okay. Go! How do I? Uh. Apparently, I can click off my screen. That's cool. Not. Thanks. No problem. We gotta watch each other's backs, right? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you <laughs> said no! He wasn't! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? Huh. It's not the bite that does it. Uh-oh. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I I guess so. Aw, I don't know. I, all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think... I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Oh. Jingling! Oh. Strangers. <laughs> it works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, bro. Who are those people? I think it's Steve Bloom. We don't want to hurt your friends. Are they, are they the people that raided your camp? Very good question. I don't think so. But they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No. We have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough. Oh, shit! Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. Hmm. We're just out looking for gasoline. Kill him! Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine. But Kill him. If you could spare any gas, well... We it looked dangerous. Nope. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. I like but your look. We own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower oh, the guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. Saw that in the previews. What are y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Hmm. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh... What are y'all thinking? Hmm. Bum 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 bum. Dun 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 dun. Hmm. What should I do? I think I need like a coin. Okay. Well, I'll do the first one here. We're gonna stay here for this one, and then the second one, we're gonna in the second playthrough, we're gonna pick the other one. I think we'll stay here. We're starting to develop a good vibe here at the motel. Good vibe? Well, Christ, daddy -o. I'm sorry the folks with the food supply and defenses didn't tickle your pretty pink ass. We need to think like a group, Lee. This affects everyone. Yep, clearly. Then we vote. If everyone agrees, then we'll send you guys with some gas to check the place out. And if we don't? Then we'll stay in this wretched roach motel with your recreational paperweight over there. Plus, we stay close to Macon where we have access to the pharmacy for dad. Kenny, Katja. We go. Hmm. Dad? You bet you, pumpkin. Duh. Pumpkin. I say we do it. I'm in. If they're offering food, we gotta <laughs> at least check it out. Well, clearly, that was not the correct choice. Limited. 
What are you thinking? We... I'm very hungry. Alright. Looks like we're going to a dairy. Or maybe... I, this is the right choice, but we're forced so, to make it. Dairy. You guys really have not going is the right choice. Hey, that looks like a swordfish on the tree. Most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor. Room. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? Huh. Smart. So. so, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. Probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. jerky. <laughs> What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God, Lisa. I need to remember that. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Grew up in Macon. Macon. Right here in the heart of Java. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? It's a democracy. A group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. <laughs> we really need it. Well, here's still not trusting these out. guys. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for. As long as I can remember, but now it's... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always fucking this bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. You knew yes. we were hungry. And you guys were <laughs> keeping it all for yourself. What should we do? Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered or something happened. Let's just wait this out. Hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh, oh shit! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh, shit! Holy Asshole. crap! The world out here is going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Take, take his stuff. He had a crossbow, I think. Was that the other guy? He had weapons. Here it is. St. John Family Day. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, Damn. Wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Someone's gonna guy. hit that. Oh, yeah. Or run into that. Hit that. Hit. Ever have any accidents? Nah, it's safer here than out there. Oh, wow, you've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting, hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow on good things. Mm -hmm. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh, we work, work together. together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Not now trusting you guys, still. Here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're starved. These are for y'all. They fresh this morning. Hmm. Holy moly! <laughs> Sorry. Can't get stuff like that anymore. 
Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Hmm. Your cow is sick? But she... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. And we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? I'm getting really well, bad vibes. I don't know about you guys, for the trip back here. but I'd want to take someone with that series of events seems like we're being set up. Dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. <sighs> He get. 